Hey there, Heather Boyd here, and welcome to day six of the Art Bookmark Making Challenge. Be sure to check the description below to join the Facebook event page and share pictures of your beautiful bookmarks. At the end of the challenge, I'll be making a slideshow of viewers' work to be shared. Today we're going to make origami bookmarks that fit on the corner of a page of a book. If you want to make it with regular paper, you can just form a square, make it any size that you want, and just fold it and cut it across so it makes a square. And then you're going to fold it in half as a triangle, fold the ends up to the top so it looks like a square, and then open it up and take the first layer and bend it down, crease it, and then fold one edge up. Again, make a little crease across the top and then tuck it in there to form a little pocket. Do the same with the other side. Bend it up, fold it down and crease it, and then stick that flap inside. Give it another little crease and then after that you can draw on that square. I actually made one that was a little bit smaller. You can make them any size that you want. I just played around and did a little quick drawing. You can color it in if you want. Really the sky is the limit with these designs. And then for the second one, I did a watercolor one. So I just got a piece of the watercolor paper. I taped it down on my board. And then I took the pattern and traced it on. So it's like a triangle with two little flaps that are going to fold over at the end. So I traced the triangle, folded one flap over, drew a line and did the same on the other side, fold the flap and draw a line. So we have a square that we're going to paint inside the square. I just sketched out a coffee cup and then I'm getting my watercolor paints and I'm just painting inside. So I'm starting with some sepia and just drawing some coffee, painting the coffee there, and I'm going to mix some other colors and just go ahead and do a little the coffee grains and a bit of a shadow at the bottom. Keep in mind that this video is in fast motion. You can take your time with it. I decided to do the cup in a blue color. This is like a Prussian blue. So I'm going to go in lightly with my blue. And with watercolor, it's good to leave some white of the paper showing to represent the reflections. And then you could do it dark on one side and light in the middle, just to give it a sense of three dimensionality I'm mixing a couple of different blues just to give it some variety. If you don't have watercolor paints, you can use color pencils, you can use markers, you can do any kind of design you want for this type of bookmark. These square bookmarks would be nice with the illuminated letters as well. You can check out the playlist of tutorials for the 10 day bookmark challenge for other ideas. So we're going to put a bit of blue on the saucer and just go around the outside first with the darker color, leaving some white in the middle. Just keep adding your paint and then you can clean your brush and blend it a little bit, still leaving a bit of the lights and the whites of the paper. So we're just going to keep going slowly. This is reminiscent of some paintings I did from a book called Watercolor Success in Four Steps. I'll link up some videos 
for that below and put the link to that book below as well. It's got some great ideas for simple watercolor painting. Have a paper towel nearby that you can dab up the extra paint, the extra water, and just keep adding shadows as you need them. Add some different shades of brown, different shades of blue. Use your imagination with the colors. If it helps, get a photograph of a coffee cup to go by or a photo of whatever you want to paint. You can add some more darks in the coffee grains, in the shadow. Mix your colors on your palette. You can add a little bit more shadow, a little bit more detail on the table. And now you could go ahead and put a background color. I'm just using some magenta just to fill in the space a little bit, give it a little extra color. I'm keeping this one quite simple. So just add color as you need it. A little more dark around the edge of the cup. Just keep going until you're happy with how it looks. Add color as you need. You can add some other shades of brown in the coffee. Use different sizes of brushes too. If you need some more detail, use a smaller brush. And then once you're done, just remove the tape and then you can cut around the pattern. Save the rest of your watercolor paper for another project. So we're going to cut it into a triangle. And then we're going to get a ruler and I'm just using a knitting needle to score the edge so it just makes a little crease without cutting the paper. And then from there you can easily fold the flaps and then add a piece of tape to close it up. And then you can just open up your book, slide the bookmark on there and it sits right in the book. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching and for participating in the 10 day art bookmark making challenge. Be sure to share photos of your work in the Facebook event page. I'll link it up in the description below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for lots more art videos and tutorials. And we'll see you the next time.